Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 37th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about functions with variable length arguments in Python. Right, so there may be situations in which, you know, while defining a function you're not sure about the number of arguments that will be passed to the function, right? Uh, through the function call statement. So in those cases, it makes sense to, you know, have some kind of uh, a method through which, you know, you can instruct Python that your function is going to receive any number of arguments. And you're not sure about the number, but, you know, you want Python to deal with, you know, as many arguments that are passed to the function, right? So let's see an example of this to understand, you know, how we can get this done. So I'm going to create a function and I'm going to call this variable. And, uh, you know, as an argument to it, as I said, you know, I don't know the number. So, you know, if suppose I knew that this function was going to receive three arguments, I would have typed a comma b comma c or, you know, uh, var one, var two, var three. But since I'm not sure about the number, I'm just going to type in an asterisk symbol. And this is important, you know, this is uh, a part of the syntax of getting variable arguments for your function. So I'll type an asterisk first, and then, you know, I could type in any name and, you know, actually, all the inputs that are passed to a function that receives variable arguments are stored in a tuple. So I'm going to call this my tuple, right? And I'll put in a colon, get inside, and then I'm going to use the for loop to iterate over, you know, the arguments that are passed and I'm going to display each of them. So I will need a dummy variable for my for loop. So I'm going to call that var and then I'll type in the in keyword and then I'm simply going to type in the name of the tuple that holds the content so that in this case will be my tuple and uh, I'll put in a colon to get inside the body of for loop and then I'll simply use the print statement to display each item right and then I'll get outside the for loop type in the return statement here get outside the function and uh, let's say I just want to call this function with one argument right so I'll type in 10 here I'll save the file and uh, I'll run it and there we go, I see 10. Now, if I call this function, I don't have to go back to the script to call it firstly. If I call this function with multiple arguments, let's say 10, comma 20, comma 30, comma 40, comma 50. So I'm calling it with five arguments now, and still I see that all the five arguments are being displayed, right? And I can call it with the, you know, with, with string inputs as well. So, you know, let's say I wanna call it with the hello as one argument, and the second argument could be world. When I press the enter key, I see hello and world. You know, so this this thing is is useful in situations, as I said, when you don't know the number of arguments that you're going to receive. So, for instance, you know, on your website, you have you know some space where the users are going to enter their names, and uh, you're not sure whether users are going to enter just their first names or you know their first name as well as the last name. So. In that case, you're not sure about the arguments that you're going to receive. So you could use variable length arguments there and uh, get your job. So anyway, I hope you guys uh, like this tutorial and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video in which we'll discuss something interesting about Python again. And uh, thank you so much for watching this one and take care.